What if you had these two images and you could merge them into this? Let me show you how that works. Hello friends, today we're going to take a new look at ControlNet because there's been a development with something called T2i. While it is standalone, it can be imported into ControlNet and it allows for some very creative uses, especially the model style, which we're going to check out today. And we'll figure out if T2i is uh, great or just okay. By the way, what do you call a factory that uh, just produces okay products? A satisfactory. All the links going to be in the description below. First, you're going to go to Hugging Face, download the models here. I recommend starting with the style, the color, and if you want to play around, try the other ones as well. And when you download them, put them inside your Table Fusion folder, extensions, SD Web UI Control Net, models, and they're going to go in here. Now, you do need YAML files for this, but they're going to be automatically downloaded, so don't worry about that. Make sure that you have the latest control net version going into extensions here, web UI control. Net. if you don't have that, you can install it from available here, load from find it and list and install. Since we have it, we're going to check for updates. You can see here, web UI control net is behind. So I'm just going to make sure all these buttons are checked and press apply and restart UI. Now it's installing and stable fusion is restarting. Now we're going to need at least two control model. So if you don't have two here, you're going to need to go into your settings. You're going to scroll down to find control net, and then you're going to change multi control net max models amount, change that to two or more, and then you need to restart. Well, actually you need to apply settings and then restart. Okay. Once you have everything set up, we're going to take the images that we're going to use. You can either generate them yourself or get them from wherever. So we're going to have our input image here. We're going to enable Control net. We're going to change this to depth. You can uh, use canny as well. Works well. I'm going to take the style, which is going to be in the second one here. And first, we're just going to take this this drawing. So we have a realistic image here, and we have a drawing. We're going to enable, and we want our photography to turn into this anime style. Take clip vision, and then style here. Make sure you enable. And uh, now you can run this with no prompts. You can also run it with prompts. And if you do, make sure they don't use too long prompts. But because if you use too long prompts, you're going to have a bad time and um, issues are going to stray from what you're trying to achieve. So as we can see here, the original composition or the woman here has turned into an anime style or, or Ghibli style image. And this can be adapted. So depending on how much or how, how little you want of the style, you can change the guide and start of either the photo or this image here. So let's say we want less of this, then you're going to up the start, which basically means for 0.5 here for 50%, we're just going to run the photo and then this is going to come in for the remaining 50%. So this is not going to be as much. And as you can see here, we're not as flat as in this style. So it's sort of a mix between both of them. And we take something in between, let's say 0.25. We're getting more of this style. Now it's turned black and white. But as you can see from my next generation here, that was based on that seed. You can also do it the other way around. So let's say we want more of the anime picture, you can start the photo later, which will get the painted image more. So here we can see more of the style, you can even get lots of the background here as well. And this can be done in many different ways and with many different images. Let's uh, try another image here just to quickly show you. So you could basically take your own images or your friends images, take another one here. Doesn't really matter which one you take. As long as you don't mess with the prompt too much, this will work for you. And if it doesn't, you can play around with the guide and start here. Now you can do it the other way around too. And let's say that we have this image as our depth map, and we want to turn this into something. 
let's say we want to turn that into a more realistic photo instead. When I reset the guide and start, and here we can see that we're getting more of a realistic vibe. Now it's not fully realistic, obviously, but it's it's closer to that style. You can do it in many ways. Well, say we get this old woman here, and we're gonna up the start here a bit. So the woman, the old woman, is gonna run for fifteen percent first. So here you can see the old woman with this as a base. You can still recognize this image from this and this image to this. So it's a cool way to merge styles and it works particularly well with people actually. So I think this would be the main use case. I've played a lot with it and for other use cases it's uh, very inconsistent in my opinion. Let's see if we have anything else. Do you think we could age this woman with this one here? Let's see. Yeah, so that works quite well. And I think we're actually going to delay the start of the old woman. How about that? That's pretty powerful, isn't it? What do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hey, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you wanna or don't. I'm not your boss. Have a good one. See ya.